في صوت في صوت طلبنا من الجامعة العربية إذا كان من الصعب أن تقوم لوحدها بحماية شعبنا أن يكون هناك تعاونا بين الجامعة العربية ومجلس الأمن أي أن تقول الجامعة العربية بأن هناك صعوبة في حماية الشعب السوري بهذه الطريقة لذلك الجامعة كحاضنة للعرب وكمؤسسة يعتمد عليها السوريون في المستقبل بأن تقوم هي بالطلب من مجلس الأمن للتعاون معها بإيجاد الآليات الحقيقية لحماية الشعب السوري لأنه من الواضح بعد ذهاب لجنة المراقبة القتل لم يتوقف والاعتقال لم يتوقف ومحاصرة المدن لم تتوقف I mean, the Security Council, of course, is very concerned, as is the world, about the ongoing violence inside Syria. Um, and Security Council members have had regular briefings from the Secretariat of the United Nations about developments in Syria. But right now, I think that, that we're all waiting to see what it is that the Arab League will be saying after their um, meeting on Sunday and what the interim report is from the monitors here. Because the Arab League, as I said before, has taken on an incredibly important responsibility. And we want to defer to right now to that meeting on Sunday and let the Arabs have their own discussions first. I had the opportunity to discuss the issue of the NGOs um, with Egyptian officials, since this is a, a bilateral issue between the United States and Egypt. We didn't discuss it here, but I did have the opportunity to talk with His Excellency the Foreign Minister of Egypt, for example, about the, the question of NGOs, because um, the, the issue of the NGOs, I think, has been distorted by the media a bit in both of our countries. Um, there's, an ex there's a very exciting transition underway in Egypt that's been going on throughout 2011, where the Egyptian people went out into the streets, demanded some basic rights and dignity to have a say in how they're governed, to be able to play a role in how Egypt's governed in the future. <laughs>